low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Razor Pro XP and just find that the stock exhaust just doesn't quite do it for you. Well, you're not alone because I have <laughs> I'm in the same boat. That's why today I'm gonna take you guys through the install step by step on the RJWC dual exhaust. And that's all aluminum, which is really nice, it keeps the weight down, makes it really light. Not only that, it looks phenomenal. I run it on my Grizzly as well, and it is super easy to clean. All I do is power wash that thing off. It's probably the easiest thing to clean on there. We're gonna ditch this old stock heavy exhaust, put this on, watch till the end so you can see what it sounds like stock versus this and see if it's for you. Follow along. All right, first we're gonna walk through the tools needed. We're gonna need a 10 mil wrench, a 13 mil wrench, 19 mil wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a six millimeter Allen wrench, um, a T40 Torx bit, I have an impact driver and impact. Those aren't necessarily needed. I do have a 13 mil socket as well on a ratchet. Then we're going to go over to the parts that are included. This is going to be a plate for above the muffler. Um, I'm going to make a backer plate for it eventually in a different color. Let me know what color you guys think I should do. There's orange on here right now. I'm an orange guy, but we could do high vis as well. I want a bright color. It's going to be the backer plate for the muffler or mufflers. And you got your, I would call it your mid pipe transition to the mufflers and then you got your dual mufflers and then you got all your hardware first thing we're going to do though is we're going to pop this rear plastic panel off we're going to pop the t40 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 four t40s we'll pop that off and then we'll go to the next step next we're going to pop the exhaust off or the muffler off so it's going to be Three 13 mils, one there, one there, one there. These are studs on the back side. Um, so you don't have to worry about holding a wrench on them. We'll get those off. And then there's just one spring up on the driver's side. And then there's two rubber grommets that they just pop out of. That's all that holds it on. almost missed it there's also a second spring up underneath the muffler as well so when you're looking at the back it's about right here on the back side that one's kind of a pain to get to but you do got to get that one off and then the exhaust will come off all right as easy as that the stock exhaust is already off that barely took any time at all um I don't know that I'd be a real enthusiast if I didn't at least give it a start up with straight pipe. I'm not going to rev it because it's not tuned and I don't want to burn anything up. Not that it would real quick, but we just got to hear what it sounds like at I.O. Let me know what you guys think. I might have to get one of the cutout mid pipes because that sounds absolutely insane. Not that I need it all the time, but every once in a while, it would be kind of nice to let that thing bark like that. Let me know if you guys want to see the side exit mid pipe. Um, if you guys like it enough, we will find one and we will get one put on. Next thing we're gonna do is set up our muffler setup. So this plate is gonna go like this. There's little square tabs. These are all gonna slide into. You might have to wiggle these around a little bit. Should sit in nice and flush. Make sure your wider side, so when you look at it, there's a wider side, a narrower side. The wider side, when it sits on here, should be almost, this tab should be almost right between your exhaust tips. 
when you're looking at it. We'll get this on. There's little aluminum washers. Focus. Those are gonna go on like so. And then your nut or bolt's gonna go on like that. Get all those started, and then you can go ahead and tighten it with your Allen wrench. Okay, now we're gonna put our inlet pipe on. So you're gonna have two five get or five hole gaskets like that. They're gonna sit like so. Now, this could vary. Uh, I know like my Grizzly had Allen head bolts. This one has 10 mil bolts. So there's gonna be five on each side of the inlet. We'll get this put on, get those tightened down. So it's gonna sit, when it goes on, you got your muffler assembly like so. Towards the passenger side, it's gonna sit like this with those gaskets in there. I can't do it one-handed, so I'm gonna to have to put you guys on a time lapse and have you guys watch it. If you haven't already, like I haven't, you're gonna have to get these rubber bushings out of here where the stock exhaust went in. Just throw the slide out like that. You're gonna keep your old exhaust, keep them for that just in case you ever gotta put your old exhaust back on. Um, and then we got these metal spate or aluminum, come on, focus, focus. Two aluminum spacers that are gonna go inside there. We'll get those put in and then I'll show you the next step from there. Okay, so these aluminum spacers, big end's gonna slide in like so. And then you're gonna take one of those Allen heads and it's gonna go on the back side with a big washer. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Get that started. Get it as tight as you can. Obviously, you probably won't be able to get it tight, tight until you get um, the other side on here. Those will go on both sides. The other thing, these plates can come off. They're held on by a 10 mil on each side. Those can pop off. All they do is hold that old plastic plate that's not gonna go back on. Okay, a couple things. You're gonna wanna leave these a little loose either way, just so you, if you gotta move them around just a little bit to uh, line the muffler up, gotta get that off. Um, then we're gonna pop the heat shield off so we can put the other mounts up top. And then pretty much we're on the home stretch of getting the muffler on. So you just got one, two, three, four, ten 10 mils. Pop those out. That heat shield comes off. And we're getting pretty darn close to complete, guys. All right. This next part's going to be kind of hard to see on video. I'm going to do it the best I can. Um, so you got, after your heat shield's off, there's two, a big hole and a little hole up on top of your frame here. This uh, spacer, it's going to be a 19 mil on the back side. It's gonna slide through here like so. That's where your brackets are gonna mount up. There's one on each side. So we're gonna put that on like so, and then your plate's gonna go on and bolt on. I'm gonna try and get it the best I can on video, doing it on there, obviously I can't do it with one hand. Um, and then they're gonna be held on with these Allens with the washer on the other side of them. We'll get those put on and then we're pretty much done. Uh, make sure they do supply a new gasket and three new bolts or nuts for these studs as well for this so you're also gonna have to line this up that's why it's gonna be kind of i can't really hold the camera and do it because gotta line this up line these up without them falling out so bear with me guys I'll try and get the best i can all right so i got all my spacers in up here now we're going to take get our washers ready our bolts and washers ready um I'm going to start the bottom two first because those are the easier ones. We're going to slide this up in here like so. Got to make sure these line or your three studs over here line up with your pipe. Helps if I put a gasket on first. Alright, gasket. We don't need exhaust leaks. Okay, gasket on. This is gonna go up. Make sure. Ooh, bear with me. All right, those are lined up. 
I'm gonna get this bottom one first. That one started. Got that hand tight. I'm gonna go to the other bottom one. Got the washer. Alright, now what we got left is to take this top plate and put it back on, which is just going to be put back on with two of the existing T40s we took out at the beginning. This is just going to go like so, line up with the original holes here. We'll get those started, and then I'll grab the compaction plate for the compaction. Tatten those up. Just like that, we're done. Simple as that. But you know what that means. It's time for the first start. We'll start it up. I'll let it warm up here and here for a couple minutes and then we'll get it outside. Then we'll do a couple revs outside. And then we'll do a little drive with it. Okay, we're doing your spark arrestor. There's four bolts around the outside of it. There's gonna be your tip. You have a little washer plate. This little washer plate is not gonna go back in. So it's just gonna be your tip. And then this is gonna sit in here like so. So that's gonna be your new washer plate is the spark. The spark arrestor is gonna take place of the washer plate. All right, guys, that's going to do the full install on the RJWC exhaust here. It's a, again, it's the APX series, all aluminum besides that inlet pipe, which is stainless. Um, very nice kit. Um, I've always been very happy with RJWC products. It definitely made the Razor a lot deeper toned, a little bit more aggressive sounding. I don't think it made it super loud, which is nice. It just gave it a nice growl, which is really what I was looking for. 
Um, I will link RJWC's website down in the description below. If you guys order from them, please use discount code CANAMADDICTS, all capitalized. It will save you guys 15% off your order, and it does give me a little bit of a kickback, which helps me do videos like this for you guys. Please like, subscribe. Um, I'm definitely trying to make videos better and better for you guys every time. Um, let me know what I could improve on, what you guys want to see, whether it's Razor stuff, Grizzly stuff. Um, I have a couple more things for this. I'm going to have to tune it now that I have exhaust on it. I have an intake mod I'm going to do. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot of plans, so I'll do a winch on it. It needs a winch. Um, hopefully get some riding videos here sooner and later for you. Weather has been great around here. We had snow and negatives the other week, and then now this week it was raining in 30s and 40s. Welcome to the Midwest, where the weather just does what, what it wants. Um, again, please like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helps you guys out. And see you guys in the next video. Get out and ride. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I 